Premier James Blunt says he has Twitter trolls to thank for his new book, which is called How to Be a Complete and Utter Blunt. <laughs> Well, there's a diary of his hilarious tweets from the past 11 years, which have made him... Well, he thinks it's made him a social media star, although he's languishing way behind me in terms of followers. But we'll, yeah, we but he's sharper that. and wittier uh, and pithier, I'd just like Mr. to say. Mr Blunt joins us now from his hellish uh, hideaway in the pandemic in Ibiza. How are you, Mr Blunt? Good morning, Suzanne and Piers. I'm really well, thank you, um, and very nice to see you. And what a special day. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? How it do you is. mean... We're all reacting the same. We're all in this together in one sense. We're all just been sitting there waiting for it to end. What, what do you feel about the vaccine news? Um, I mean, you know, really, that's as a musician um, and a touring musician, that's exactly what we're waiting for, because live music is about bringing strangers together to stand shoulder to shoulder. Um, and, and you can put us in tears or you can lock us down, but nothing will open up. Um, music until we've all had a vaccine, so it's sort of really special. And that's why, you know, we, we're now really convinced that our tour dates next year are going to go ahead and we're putting new tour dates on literally today um, uh, with this news. And you've got a UK tour, haven't you, starting... I think it starts in May, uh, Bournemouth, Royal Albert Hall, Liverpool, Leeds, wow. and you're going to be other, adding new dates, yeah? It feels like a different... Yeah. It feels like a different planet, doesn't it, when you talk about actually being able to go out and tour again. I wonder, James, whether you think people should have vaccine passports before they're able to come and see you? Um, you know, I think it's not for me to say, is it? I mean, you know, one hopes that, um, that there'll be enough people to um, be up for the vaccine that will have herd immunity in that way. Um, I, for one, know that, you know, I'll do the right thing. I'll test it on my children first, and, and if, if they don't grow a third arm, then I'll definitely have it myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's very um, sensible. I, I actually totally agree with that. Um, let's turn to your book, uh, which is very funny, because it's basically a collection... Well, actually, it's the easiest book I've ever seen, because you've had nothing to do with it, clearly. It's just someone's collected the funniest tweets. You'd already done the work, right? Well, no, I mean, you know, like yours, yours is a, a diary too, and, and, and so we're doing a similar kind of thing. I'm um, only mine's just more readable. Um, <laughs> Actually, uh, mine is a bestseller. Uh, How's yours getting on at the moment? I'm like, I, I do keep yours in a very special place, Piers, because it's, it's a tricky time <laughs> at the oh. moment. Um, in, I'm in not going to like this. Oh, for goodness, goodness sake, blood. It's, it's useful firewood, yeah. you're not wrong. <laughs> I don't just, actually mind. Well, you said that you want yours kept in people's loos, which seems very appropriate for me. I will certainly be having yours in the loo should there be another run on loo paper. Quite right. But, you know, really, mine is the... Mine's the um, I suppose, having been online on social media for 11 years now, um, I've learned that Twitter's a terrible place. Um, and we should all get rid of it. And my book is just an expression of trying to convince people like, to, to, um, to bail out of social media. Yeah, you can't bail out because you actually... You, you, you the irony it, is you're so good at it. Well, you do the right way. Like, we've got some here where someone says... Yeah, there's to, lots you can't read out. No, I know. I just Does anyone else look hate look James Blunt's voice? I can't stand it. To which you replied, I never liked the sound of my own voice until it made me rich. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love that. James Blunt's back with a new single. <laughs> this may be the worst thing that's ever happened in my life, said somebody, to which you replied, good sense of perspective there. <laughs> and it is true, isn't it? <laughs> I, what's very disarming about the way you deal with these people is we all get trolled like this, and it's very tempting to get angry and to really rage back at them. I prefer to correct their spelling. You prefer to play the kind of fake humility card. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, what I think I've learned from it is um, is not to take it seriously. Um, and it's not the real world. And in the real world, people are generally much nicer to each other. Um, and uh, and also, if you are going to reply on social media, then probably take a deep breath. Um, and uh, yes. and yeah, and and do it with, without emotion before you um, get into. Are you get yourself serious into about maybe Twitter. quitting quitting Twitter or not? Um, no, definitely not, because I'm just I'm making money out of it. <laughs> Nigel says, man, why don't you ever reply to positive comments about you? And your reply was... He doesn't get any. Because I can't find yeah. any. <laughs> James, the, what the is it... The is always funny. What's it, <laughs> what's it like out in Ibiza under lockdown? Are the clubs opening up again or, or is it completely shut? Because Spain's been, been pretty strict about lockdown. Yeah, I mean, it's been really interesting listening to the news in the UK. We give ourselves an incredibly hard time. And, and what's really clear is this uh, pandemic has been absolutely worldwide. And Europe is really struggling with the numbers, too. And here in Spain, the numbers are really bad. Yes. It's much easier in smaller places. Ibiza, um, the numbers are lower. 
Um, but all our clubs have been closed. I, the only club that's open has been Blunty's nightclub at the end of my garden, and, yeah. and both of us in there have been thoroughly enjoying it. And it's you basically performing to, you know, nobody, which I would imagine is well, quite a normal experience wife. for you, isn't it? Something I'm totally used to, Piers, exactly. <laughs> Can I just ask you, before we let you go, about your dad? Because the last time he spoke to you, I think, was when he'd had this big, major uh, kidney op. Um, you obviously not been able to see him, really, have you, because of this, because he would be in the vulnerable category. How's he doing? Um, he's really well um, and looking incredibly healthy, and we're in phenomenally grateful to the NHS for, for giving him that, um, a, a, you know, a, a second shot at life. Um, but even with the news of the vaccine, you know, I'm not going to go and see him for Christmas, um, and uh, and he'll have a, a you know Christmas just with my mother. I think because having gone so far, we're simply not going to risk anything now. No, I think that's very sensible, uh, James. It's good to talk to you. It's a very funny book, I have to say. I was looking at it again this morning, laughing my head off, right till they got to the point where you were jabbing me. Yeah. There's something I didn't find <laughs> it quite so funny. No, but uh, the rest of but us. It's very did, funny. So thank it had to be a that. complete blunt by James Blunt. Nobody better qualified, I don't think, to live up to that title. Um, uh, we're very excited. The bookshops are open now. The lockdown is over, so true. people can actually go out and grab it. And yep. we can grab tickets to your tour. I can't believe you're able to put it back on, but of course, as you say, you know, we've now got better testing. We've got the vaccine. I might go and we see you at the Albert Hall. Actually, going out just again. Just up the road from me. I might go and see you and sit in the front row and try and put you off. There. There are some people who will try and bar from coming in, Piers, and I think you'll probably... <laughs> yeah, you'll introduce a vaccine passport just for him. <laughs> James, great to talk to you. Lovely to speak to you both. Take care. Oh, All the best. Enjoy, Peter. It's a very funny book. You mm. want to get it.